Wow, lots of people jumping on here early. Hello, Joni. Mac. I, I have pants on for now. Hello, Wendy. It is, is today Saturday. I guess it would be. Yesterday was Good Friday. Tomorrow is Easter. That would make Katie Bell. Hello. Full moon Saturday night. Greetings and welcome to JTH Construction Studio Live. Where we have no plans, but just to uh, chat and see what's going on. Uh, I want to say thank you to my sponsor, American Basement Solutions. Teresa Bessmer at Fathom Real Estate. These people help us out a bunch. Reps Fitness, of course, JTH Construction. Bland and Boys Lawn Care. I saw a lot of people asking for getting the grass cut. Get a hold of Bland and Boys. Seasons in. Findhelp.org. There's so much there on that site, guys. You just need to go in there. If you need help for any anything in your life, click on there. You never know. Like I said, Bland and Boys Lawn Care. Um, Larry and Sons, they're good good dudes, and they take care of my yard. I appreciate that. Uh, Drink the Creek, Cedar Creek, May 7th coming up, opening night. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Susan. Um, Chris Atkins coming up. Can't wait for that. I want to make sure I got all my sponsors. In. I think I got out. Oh, yeah. Piggy Bay Field, of course. District 60. Early voting's happening. Get in there and vote for Peggy. I post a list that everybody I'm, I'm cheering for. So, Hello, Shelly. We'll be live election night. I talked to Dean last night. We'll, we will give results in here, as we always do. Of course, Wayman's. Wayman's been in town for a very long time. We're happy to have them as sponsors. Stop over to tell Mark, hey, I saw you're out on porch time, 765-342-4339. Wellspring, Bob Goodrum. They do a lot of good stuff in town for the homeless. Got anything you want to get rid of? Get a hold of Bob first and see if he can use it. And of course, Stids. Comfort air. Keeping me cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Or something like that. Rob's always complaining it's cold. All right, let's get to it. What's up, Shelly? Hello, Rich. Went to Cool Bar in Indianapolis called Tape Tappers. Tapers. Loaded with 70s and 90s arcade games. That's awesome, Mac. Hello, Frida. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Ann. It is a full moon. Um. Lots of weird stuff happens on full moon nights. Love to all. Hello, Susan. Hello, Kelly. I'm just scrolling back. I don't want to miss anything. Didn't want to miss a thing. Real quick, tomorrow morning when you get a chance, first of all, happy Easter to everybody. Um, what's up, G? How's the weather up there? It's not bad. Typical spring. It's kind of chilly. In the evenings, nice days. It was sunshiny today, very pretty out. Um, gonna get to about the same tomorrow. Maybe a chance of rain late. It seems like it always rains late in the day on Easter. Easter Sunday, uh, I'm gonna try to get to church tomorrow. If you're gonna go to church, you go to church on Christmas and Easter if you, if you gotta make it. Those are the two biggies, so to say. Somebody with <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thank you, darling. Happy Easter to you. What's up, Mike? Um, going to try to get to church tomorrow morning. Probably won't go live in the morning. If I get up, if I get to bed early and go, get up, I'll, I'll pop on here and do some coffee with Kevin. I wanted to say local grind. That is a gem. She has excellent food, her low carb bowl, but I mean, she has excellent food outside of low carb bowl too. But are you coffee freaks that go to Starbucks and pay the exuberant amount? I don't, I'm not saying her prices are cheaper or comparable. But whatever you're paying there, go there and pay because it's it's supporting local business. She has one here and one Franklin. Nice gal, good workers. And uh, here, here's how my day went. I ate a low-carb bowl for breakfast, went to work. And then uh, don't wait for him. Thank you, Ann. Woohoo! 200 stars. Ann, God bless you. Thank you so much. And then I came home for work, and I liked it so much. But I didn't see the hot sauce until later, so I went back tonight for dinner when I got home from work, dumped some hot sauce on it, and ordered the same thing. I also like their coffee. I'm not a big coffee fan outside of free coffee at work and gas station coffee and what I make back here. But she has really good coffee. And just plain coffee, I got creamer put in it. 
uh, half and half, I think, and it was really delicious. I hope they're open tomorrow morning. I'm not for sure. I should have found that out today, but good gal, good place to eat. It's local. It's in town. I did my first low-carb cafe this morning. I'm going to try to do one next weekend. No promises, just depending on how workload goes. Um, but if not, I, I will get it the following week for sure. So I had fun with that this morning. Other than that, lots of folks on. Let's chat. What do we got? Let's let's solve some problems tonight. It's a full moon. Why does why does the full moon? Great, sir. Susan, you're exactly right. Hundred percent. Why does the full moon affect us so much? Go in there. When you go in there, tell them Kevin told you. Take your butt down there. You heard it on porch time. All my sponsors. When you see one of our sponsors say, "Hey, I heard your ad on." You don't have to buy from them. Just tell them. Hey, I heard you're out on porch time. Because they want to make sure they're getting the most for the money, and I want to make sure they're getting the most for the money. G, you, you were a cop on the east side, one of the most dangerous places in Indy. You and Hester and others, and, and God bless them for being there. G, why is that, though? Why does it, I mean, why does it mess with people so much? In, oh, energize and revive, uh, Wendy. That came. What's up? What's up, Big D? It came across on on the Facebook side, E N E R, and then G I Z E, like it's another word, and a revive. Why does why does a full moon affect? And these police officers that have, or, and prior police officers, you got Dallas, you got G on here. Why does it affect people so much? And I could only imagine. On nights like this, that the PD, the dispatch, and the FD and the EMS go through. I used to work in a nursing home, believe it or not, at Grandview Nursing Home as a kid when I was in high school. And I was a night cook. I know, I know it's shocking, but I was. But God rest her soul, Mary Dayhuff, she took care of me. She laid out everything for me. Lady loved me, and I treated her with the most respect I could ever give a human being. She laid out everything I had to do, wrote down every every direction, and I followed it to a T. And um, I was their night cook, and I took care of the place, and I fed people over there, and I loved it. Uh, I left because at 16 and 17 years old, I didn't, I wasn't ready to... You know, one day you're feeding somebody, and then the next day they're gone. And that was, I was like, eh, I don't know how to do. I was already entered in the army, so I knew I had plans. She's the greatest lady ever. Kelly, did you work with Mary? Is she still alive? I said, God rest her soul. Is she still alive, Mary Dayhuff? I have not seen her in years. But that late, that gal, what's up, Tony? That gal used to leave me the best freaking coffee cake every every afternoon it is illusionary compulsion ah uh, uh, some of that some of that I, I i i honestly no clue i hated full moon nights on the east side of indy um yeah g worked a very rough cra uh, rough beat freaks come out at night <laughs> I'm going to get to the story on G in a minute, but I want to... What's up, Jeff Price? But Mary would leave me the absolutely best coffee cake. Hands down. You know what? If we want to do a contest, we'll do who makes the best coffee cake and have them bring it in here. But Mary Dayhuff would make me the absolute freaking best coffee cake and leave me a big... You still with us? That lady is a gem. And she put her heart and soul... Into 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 being a cook at Grandview, man. If she is, I would love to say hi to her. I would love to have her on air. But she would make me the best, the absolute best coffee cake money could buy, and I would come in for. I would come in um, from. I would if it was after football, but I would come in from school and go in there and start cooking in the evening, and they were on their way out, so they. Get the cap and leave. And it was just me. And I would have coffee and coffee cake. 
the entire night. And man, I was like one of the only guy cooks there. One of my, well, actually, two of my sisters work there. My cousin is married to her daughter. Mary Day Heff is one of the most kindest souls on this planet. And that was like my, I worked at IGA. Uh, I don't know if I worked there first or IGA. I think I worked there first. I think outside of, we had our own grass cutting business from the time we were 12. We cut all the banks and all that stuff. Yeah, say something to her. Tell her Kevin Coriel said hi, Kelly. But um, outside of grass cutting and things like that, that was my first real job away from grass cutting. And I was just a young dude. It did... Hello, Diane. How are you? What's up, Eric Ratz? There's a good dude right there. Eric Ratz is a good dude. Um, but outside of cutting grass, that was my first real job, and she took care of me. Um, she knew it was kind of overwhelming for me to start. But after about a week, she, you know, I'd go in there at night, and that was it. They'd shut the door and leave, and I, I had to feed people. I had to take care of all of it. One of the best lessons in life. Uh, 100%, man. Oh, you guys are both saying the same thing. Hello, Connie. Susan, I agree with that to an extent. I don't know enough about it, but I, I agree with it. But yes, she was a, a hell of a woman, and there were some great people that I worked with there at Grandview that, uh, you know, it's a 16 year old, 16, 17 year old kid. You're not going to be a cook anywhere, but I was at Grandview. And we were in the little white building, the little um, center block building that was tucked away in the corner. And mine was a far window and the face in the front. And I was in there till 8 30, 9 o'clock at night every night. Uh, serve dinner, do the dishes, prep for the morning, clean it up, walk out, go home. See, my dad worked nights, and so it just been you know, Timmy was off running because all my other brothers and sisters were already gone. So it was normally it was just me and Timmy. But if he was off running, I'd go home and just be a mom, get me something to eat, watch some mass, take a shower, mash, watch some, take a shower, and go to bed. I don't think I had. I, don't, I never did homework anyway. I hated homework. Hello, Connie. But yeah, Mary Day have I, that coffee cake. If someone can duplicate that coffee cake. That was divine. Her coffee cake was second to none. And if you've not had really good coffee cake, you can't even, I can't even describe you. Hello, Lisa. How good? Bill Martin, what's up, buddy? Excellent coffee cake is because Mary Dayhuff brought it. She set the gold standard on coffee cake. Kelly's had it. I would take some, I would, I would get some, I'd take some home. I need it later. So how does, uh, I wish, I don't know if G's on or Dallas is on, but um, I know a lot of individuals that I'm friends with that the full moon. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to get into that too deep. But the full moon affects them. You don't hear from somebody for a while. But you're still here. G, got any horror stories you can discreetly tell about full moon nights? Or was it just rough? It was rough up there anyway. Hats off to him. I, I, I'll tell you a story about him. I've known that young man a very, very, very long time. And uh, he was a, he's a police officer for IPD. He's now living in Florida, taking it easy down there. Probably wears a straw hat and a freaking banana hammock all day and doesn't do anything. And <laughs> there you go. And so, but um, I told him one night, I said, uh, this was back for stuff for porch time. Um, I had to pick up Ramey up in Greenwood, and we had to run to Fry's when Fry was still open. But I was picking up Ramey. I heard a thing on, on WIBC or something I was listening to, and it said, 465 on the east side is shut down. It's about a four-hour wait. It'd find an alternate route. So I'm freaking 
looking on my phone. I was like, I'll just go here, go to Arlington, go all the way to 56, cut over High School Girls School Road or whatever that is, Gun Road, and I'm right there. So I drive Arlington all the way up. And about halfway through, the Timmy's with me. Halfway through, we look at each other and we're like, I ain't stop. I ain't stopping on red lights. Sorry. Right. It's, it's rough neighborhoods. <laughs> and we go up there, we come back, and the same thing. And I tell him, like, three days later, we run into him out at, um, I mean, at Byram's, maybe G. And I told him, I was like, hey, I was over in your neck with. I told him, he's, he like grabs me by the collar and he goes, don't you ever drive up there at night again. I don't care how far out of your way you got to drive. I was like, seriously? He's like, dude, I don't even go in those areas. Rough areas, bud. Rough areas, unfortunately, because, um, no. Shame on the moon pill. Well, there you go. But yeah, I've known Gene a long, long time, and I used to beat the living daylights out of him on the basketball court, and he, has, he still winds to this day. What's up, Kagan? He's a good man. He's a good man. Good family. And I'm happy for him. He's down in Florida living it up. We'll see what was funny. There was a big chase and um, that, that initiated down here. And uh, Timmy was involved in it. I don't like telling his tales because he doesn't. He only tells me between me and him. But he ended up on 56th Street, and they went down. They wrecked into a place, and they ended up getting the guy. But as we're driving, he's like, I just came through here two nights ago at about 80 miles an hour running the guy. And the IP, IPD was involved. In. But, um, yeah. Tough area. But he's a good dude. Good guy, good friend, and uh, I, I have nothing but respect for him. And and all of them, Hester and, and, and Cody and... And of course, our our county is Dallas, and all of them. There, those are good dudes. That there's not too many of us that get up in the morning that have to worry about coming home that night if you're going to make it. I was in the military; that was expected. You never know. When, and I was in communication, so when things came in, and it, if crap was going to hit the fan, you knew before everybody else. But um, jobs like that, you just never know. Hello, Marilyn. How are you, dear? Breakfast was good. I'm telling you, stop the local grind. Um, how good? How good was it? I hit it this morning. The coffee was delicious. The food was delicious. When I came back from work tonight, I stopped and got the exact same thing. But I seen they had hot sauce, which I did this morning. So I dumped a bunch of hot sauce because I like it spicy. I like my eat spicy. So uh, I got um, popped up. Honestly, it's always bad. Um, up there, they say working on the east side of Indianapolis for sure be be your, like working three years on any other department. Either. Yeah, I couldn't do it, buddy. I went to that um, academy, Citizens Academy, and I was like, and I and I wish everybody. Need to Kagan. I wish everybody could take a class like that. I that I took because um, one of the one of the um, things that struck me the most, um, like on a uh, oh, I want to get this terminology correct. Uh, physical uh, or a uh, husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend fighting. I forget the uh, brain lock right here. A domestic disturbance. And if it's a male and a woman and they think that something's going off like that, they are to go to the scene without their lights on. No siren running. Lights on, no siren. And park away from away from the entrance of the door so the individual can't see them because they need to hold those citizens academy. Oh, they do, gee. And, and listen to this, folks. They do that. So if the individual is in there and he's, let's say he's got him a gun point or knife point or something and they're in trouble. Have a good night, Kevin. Happy Bill. Happy Easter to you. God bless you, sir. Go cook at church. You're, you're an awesome man. Bill Martin. Thank you so much, sir. Um, but they, they don't want to let the individual know that's in the wrong or possibly in the wrong 
that they're there. And here's the kicker. And, and, and this, is, this is what kills me when you hear these people say, I hate the police or they were wrong. When they cross that threshold of that door, they, and it has happened. You can research it. It has happened. They're outside the door. They hear the mom screaming, the dad screaming, the daughter has called the police station. They bust through the door and they bust in the bedroom and mom and dad are in there doing mom and dad things. And they didn't know the kid had woke up and called the police. Then guess what happens? Attorney Ken Nunn would like to talk to you. And then the whole department gets sued and everybody gets in trouble. So then that makes them hesitate. And then when they don't go in, that guy snaps, shoots the mom, shoots the daughter. All hell breaks loose. So before they cross that threshold, every single time, they have to have it right. 100% bar none. Because their, their career and their job is on the line. And when I heard that in that class that day, I was like, there's no way. There is no way I could do that. Um, we did a we did a scenario, and we had um, it was on a computer thing, where we go into a factory, and there's active you know something's going wrong. A guy's got his workers caught, gonna shoot at him. You go running in there, and through the window you see the guy with the, with a the gun point at a woman's head. On well, the military, you don't you don't ask questions. So I raised the the automatic weapon or some automatic weapon we had and fired away. Why'd you shoot? In my mind, it's the enemy, and I'm I'm already been past him. I'm going to the next guy. And on the computer, they had stopped it. Then they started it up again. Right when people were firing, there's a a worker walks past the window, and you end up shooting him. So I would empty the clip and anything in that. <laughs> I couldn't do it. So hats off to them. God bless them. The ones that are still doing it, the ones that have done it. Um, it's a crazy world out there, and I couldn't couldn't imagine. A couple of people just popped on. Greg Ham Heimer, cooking with Pat Paul. Thank you so much today, sir. That was awesome what you did for Larry. That uh, that looked phenomenal. Um, Greg, you're an excellent cook. We need to get you in here, have you on air, and we appreciate you doing what you do for us and and our and our. People that, that buy your goods. Jerry Vest. How you doing, sir? It is just a uh, Easter Eve. I, and I, I posted this earlier. The Easter Bunny is, is, is kind of creepy. If you look back through history, the pictures of the Easter Bunny, there's no wonder kids were scared because those images are... And, and, and someone said... It's not about the bunny. It's about the lamb. 100% I get that. I'm not... <clears throat> let's, that is totally not where I'm at. I'm talking about the commercial side of it that they've made everything. The retail side of it. But the Easter Bunny. A, it doesn't lay eggs. Hang on. Not enough respect out there. Please any more sex for them that they can... Get sued and lose everything they have they're doing. Right. Back in their community. Thanks for the comments. Anytime, G, you know that. You know how I feel, man. Love you guys. Respect you 100%. Long before my brother went in, I had relatives that were police officers, state, and um, I've got, people don't know this, but we've got two other relatives that are, that are, that are state police officers. Night, Kagan. Ha uh, happy Easter. And, uh, Hope you have a good day tomorrow, buddy. But yeah. They they do a hell of a job. I don't um back the blue. And, and like anything, there's always well, this guy was wrong. I understand that. There's bad apples in every bunch. But ninety nine good apples and one bad apple don't make the entire bunch bad. Because you could you could say that about any profession anywhere in the world. But they want to nitpick and, and, and ride those guys. Anyway, that's it. I could go off on that all night. Tomorrow's Easter. I, I, didn't, I guess I didn't realize, and I'm excited because all three of my daughters will be here tomorrow evening, late. Uh, I'm cooking a little dinner, and I'm just doing chicken thighs and some broccoli and things like that. But I haven't, we haven't had been together 
as all of us, uh, I think late January. But I worked today, and then I went to Kroger, and it was like Christmas Eve in there. I didn't realize that, that the people flock to the stores just like any other holiday for Easter Eve. I guess it just didn't register. Um, but yeah, Kroger was packed, and everything was extremely outrageous, outrageously priced. I spent a lot of money on a very little amount of food, which I'll be cooking. Um, t uh, probably going to do some sleeping in. If I get up, I'll do some coffee with Kevin. Uh, the rest of our family, we've got a little get-together, I think, at 1. After that, I'm going to come home and cook and make them some delicious food. I'll have all three of the kids here tomorrow night for a couple hours, which is very hard to do. You got one that works in Indy, one that works in Columbus, and one that goes to IU. Tracking them all down and making a habit is, is, isn't very. I want to hear some um, uh, full moon stories. I know, I hope the gals that were on didn't leave. I want to hear some full moon stories from this side. What is? How does it affect you? I know the tides and all that, and as Susan was saying, we're seventy percent water. Um, how does it affect you? you? Cheated again this year and ordered Cracker Barrel. <laughs> oh, Kelly, that is not cheating. That is genius. What did you order? I love their fried okra, by the way. That's an old guy talking to me. What did you order? That is genius. And you're up in Mooresville, so you run up, up to Plainfield and grab it, don't you? That is not cheating. That is genius. Hey, look, I got paper plates and the chrome-plated plasticware over there. I'm only doing the dishes that I need to be done. I'm not, I'm not creating dish work for me. Any way you can make dinner and meals easier, I'm all for it. As long as you get a good meal, everybody's happy. I got sweets, I bought some cupcakes, I bought some brownies, I got some chips, because I got cheese and broccoli, I got some potato salad, I got mac salad, and I'm going to cook some chicken. Easy peasy. They've not had my chicken thigh, so they're going to be like, whoo. Pleasing three daughters is not easy. If I get two out of three, it'll be a very big win. Kelly, what'd you get? I'm kind of curious. Ham, hash browns, casserole, fried apples, rose mac cheese, stuffing. Whoo. See, you, you could have went grays. <laughs> Probably true, G. I understand, buddy. You know what? You're safe. You're safe now and out of it. I know Hester's safe. Cody Wayne, the rest of the fellows up that way. Good dudes. Jason Lee, good dude. I guess I could order. You got Gray's you could order from. I almost bought one of them huge cheesecakes from Texas Corral. Logan would damn near eat the half of that thing herself because she's a cheesecake freak. Picked up order day, no, no grace here. They went down a lot. I've heard that. I, I went in there probably November, October of last year. Paid more than what I was used to, and the, the quality was not grace. I was kind of shocked. Not that I still don't like grace, because grace is a mainstay. I hope it picks back up and turns around. But I, I was kind of shocked that is this MCL? Is this less than MCL? Is this Grace? What is this? Because this is not what I'm used to. It was always hard to get in there. You guys remember a place called the Ground Round and the Dutch Oven? Does anybody remember those up in Greenwood? He's tapping out. Good night, brother. I won't ask to go to sleep. Been at the pool. <laughs> Oh, you poor child. Been at the pool all day. I'm just tuckered out. 
Happy Easter, man. Tell your family, happy Easter. Love you guys. Be safe. Night, G. The food just isn't the same. Never tastes the same. I agree. That they're lacking something that they're not, they're not doing something like they used. Coffee cake. Remember that. We got to get some coffee cake. Got to get some coffee cake from Mary Day Huff. Anybody remember the ground round or the Dutch oven? And I want to say they both sat, maybe one sat on 135 and one sat on 31. Maybe they both sat on 31. But when I was, when I had first got out of the military, single guy, I, I want to say nothing has changed. I, I agree 100%. What's up, Jeff Jesse? I used to like going. Uh, those were those were date, those were date quality places to go hang out. Because everybody all go to Chi Chi's or go here or go there. But if you're way down in Martinsville and you go up there, you know, I'm gonna go to the Dutch up. Go to Ground Round. Get some good food. Go see a movie. Hang out on the south side a little bit. No, Pose is, or Gray's is not the same. I miss Pose too, but Gray's is not the same. Hasn't been for a while. Unfortunately. No full moon stories from anybody outside of law enforcement or EMS. I bet you Dispatch and EMS would have some damn good stories on. The moon, the full moon thing never has affected me either way. Good, bad, different, sleepy, tired, awake, anxieties, anything like that is never has. But I know people it does. I get messages. I get messages uh, normally one or two days, a day before and a day after of um, weird things and things. Eight people on the, the the full moon story is just not carrying well tonight. They're loss. I love the Dutch oven. It it wasn't around long while I was uh, at that age. The ground round was around for a little bit. That was closer to the mall. I think the Dutch oven was further further down thirty one towards uh, towards actually towards Indy. That's been a while. The the place to go was Chi Chi's. So you went in there, and you got your chips and your salsa. For some reason, they didn't make you order anything. You could sit there and eat chips and salsa all night. And as young dudes, we'd go in there and do that. And then we'd go to the mall, maybe catch a movie, walk around, of course, chase girls all night at the at the, at the mall, and then head back to Martinsville. That was always fun. The good days back when Smith Valley, you could drive all the way down it. And I don't think they think the first stop sign was. Down there where the school's at. Or where's that? Where's that? Where's it at? Where is it at now? Where's it at? I'm trying to say. Oh. People coming on. Coming on and coming off. 11 folks. How we doing? Gotta jump off. Well, that's strange. My, it did not give me the update. Full moon. I blame it on full moon. Go to LLC. Going in. There it is. There we go. All right. Anybody got anything to add? Say, um... Easter Sunday tomorrow, don't take the day for granted for a few reasons. Um, lots of craziness going on in this world. I'm not a big Bible thumper, but if you're going to say a prayer for our country and the people of, this, of, the, of the planet itself, tomorrow will be a good day to do it, to start. 
um, spend that time with your family wisely because you never know. We, we've had some rough days this, this past week for our community. A lot of people are hurting. So enjoy the time you have with your family. Um, as, as they say. Denise, happy Easter to you too, dear. The reason for the season is the lamb, not the bunny. 100%. Enjoy your Easter's enjoy in Easter celebrations. Enjoy your time at home. Enjoy your time with family and friends. Just be safe. Hopefully, we have great weather all day. Today was beautiful. At least it wasn't uh, hurricane force winds like I was driving through last night. Anyway, anyway, got anything to say? How long we've we only been on? About a half an hour. Thirty-six minutes. Hello, Tina. Tina, did you just have a birthday? Happy birthday, Tina. I hate when I miss birthdays from people I know, and then you see it, and you're like three days late, and you're like, what a butthole. The magic of Facebook, it'll allow me to see who's coming on and off on my phone, but not on the site, and that frustrates the heck out of me. I like to say hi when people come in. I can't always, it doesn't always show me everybody. Sometimes somebody will post something, and I'll look, and I'm like, I didn't even see him come in, and then like two minutes later, it'll show them, Kelly's joined the group. Kelly's joined the group. Kelly's watching. Anyway, anybody got anything? Anything at all? All right. I will jump off here. I'm going to go to bed. Get up early in the morning. Go get me some low carb. Go to the local grind. Get a chance. Stop in there. Tell Emily. She's a hardworking lady. She has two stores she's running. One here and one in Franklin. Stop in there. Tell her I sent you. Get you some coffee. Wendy's still here. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Kelly. Stop in there and tell Emily that you heard about it on Porch Time. Um, that's a good gal. She has good food. She has good workers. And it's a hidden gem here in town. And I'll probably hit another place in a couple weeks and see what they got. I don't want to go in there unannounced because I don't want to. I'm not out to screw any businesses over. Um, if, they got, if they've got something low carb, hey, I'll go in there and try it and mention your business on air. Because there's quite a few little places. I think there's eight restaurants on the square. Gather around Mexican restaurant. Greeks, come and get it. 21. If you want to count the nutrition bar, that's you're up to six. Uh, Waffle Witch and local ground. Hello, Vicky. That's crazy. You guys have a safe, happy Easter. All have a great day full of love and smiles. Thank Jesus. All for Jesus. The reason. Wendy, you as, you as well. Thank you guys. I love you all. I don't just say that. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. We love what we do here. Uh, and without you guys, none of this happens. Honey, have a good evening. Have our children blessings. 100%. I cannot wait to see all my three of my kids tomorrow night. That, that is... That is an Easter blessing for me. It's been a while. Uh, they're all adults now. They, uh, of course, when they get to that age, they're like, eh. So what is it? They step on your toes and they're little, and they step on your hearts when they're older. 100%. So I cannot wait for that. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm just going to jack around. I got some stuff to do here. Uh, the rest of our family is kind of meeting at 1. But after that, I'll be home. And then I'll get to see, start cooking it. Love you guys. Have a happy Easter. I may be on the morning just to jack around and coffee with Kevin, but that'll be early. Have a great night. We will see you soon. Try to behave.
Behave, it's Easter. Wendy, behave. Kelly, behave. Susan Amani, if you're on, behave. You have trouble. There's a new delicatessen opening soon, two doors down from the Daily Grind. Susan, I just saw this. What's the name of it? Got the cameras off the mic salon. What's the name of it? Stand on here until I see a name. We'll fire the cameras back up. I did. I called you both out. Behave. Delicatessen. Was it down there by the nutrition bar? Two doors down from the Daily Grind. The local grind. So it's over by the auction house. Walk off the square. I'll track that down, Susan. Thank you. I did not know. I was not aware of that. I was not aware of that. I'll look into this. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Susan. Exactly, Wendy. All right, y'all. I'm going to finish my Jesse James and then call it night. Love you guys. Behave. We'll see you soon.